Assembled guests, please stand. Her Excellency, the Right Honourable Dame Cindy Keto, Governor General of New Zealand. Please be seated. Kura tato katoa. No mai haramai ki te fare kawana o tamaki makauro. Distinguished guests, it is my pleasure to welcome you all to Government House for today's investiture ceremony. I want to specifically acknowledge Mr. Joe Harawira, our Komatua, and Mrs. Ranui Ngarimu, our Kuiya. Hosting investiture ceremonies is one of the most important duties that I perform on behalf of Her Majesty, the Queen of New Zealand. I'm delighted to bring together such an extraordinary group of New Zealanders. You have each brought pride and a greater sense of well-being to Aotearoa New Zealand through your outstanding achievements and your service to our communities. On behalf of all New Zealanders, I extend my sincerest congratulations and thanks to you for this service. After each recipient is honoured, I invite you to join with me in congratulating them. Mr Ward Carmel will now summon the recipients and read their citations. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a Knight Companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit. Sir Colin Tukui Tonga of Wellsford for services to Pacific and public health. Sir Colin Tukui Tonga has made a significant contribution to the health and welfare of Pacific people. Sir Colin is the inaugural Associate Dean of Pacific in the Faculty of Medical and Health Sciences at the University of Auckland. Between 2014 and 2020, he was the Director General of the Secretariat of the Pacific Community, a regional intergovernmental organisation based in Noumea that works with several parties in the Pacific region. He was Chief Executive of the Ministry of Pacific Island Affairs between 2007 and 2012. He was founder of the first Pacific Community-owned health clinic, the Fono. In 2006 and 2007, he was Associate Professor of Public Health and Head of International at the University of Auckland, where he initiated their International Health Programme. From 2003 to 2006, he worked for the World Health Organization in Geneva, developing international policies for the control of non-communicable diseases such as heart disease and diabetes. He was the New Zealand Director of Public Health between 2001 and 2003, leading the national response to the threat of SARS. In the 1990s, he was key in the establishment of the Department of Māori and Pacific Health at the University of Auckland. 
Sir Colin has been a key contributor to the national COVID-19 response, especially in relation to Pacific communities regarding information dissemination and ensuring high vaccination rates. Sir Colin Tonga, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of an officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mr. Udov Adekari of Auckland, for services to the Nepalese community. Udov Adekari was an executive committee member of the Everest Kiwi Association, now New Zealand and Nepal Society. He held several positions with the New Zealand Nepalese Society, including President, helping migrating Nepalese families to settle in New Zealand, providing tertiary education advice for Nepalese international students, and organising cultural activities. He is an advisor with the Nepal Literary Society, promoting Nepali literature in New Zealand, and conducts regular Nepali language classes. He is president of the non-resident Nepalese association, New Zealand. He is president uh, as well at... Uh, Previously as Vice President, he led fundraising for vulnerable groups affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. He led a development program working with Nepalese people who had lost their jobs during the pandemic. Mr. Arakari is a Justice of the Peace and a life member of Paramansa Yogsawa. Mr. Udov Arakari, please come forward. Your Excellency, to receive the insignia of a member of the New Zealand Order of Merit, Mr. Richard Garrett of Mount Maunganui, for services to tennis and Māori sport. Richard Garrett, Ngai Tūhoi, was president of the Kiwi Tennis Club, Māngere Central Tennis Club, Aotearoa Māori Tennis Association, 
Tennis Seniors South Auckland Association and Tennis Auckland. He has organised coaching camps for Māori rangatahi, assisted elite juniors to United States tennis scholarships and fundraised for groups to play in the Queensland Seniors Tournament. He is Chief Executive of the Tohu Tākaro o Aotearoa Charitable Trust, Aotearoa Māori Sports Awards. He holds various national titles and represented New Zealand seniors in two world championships. Mr Garrett was a committee member of Monaco Rovers Rugby Football Club and trustee of Tūtō Charitable Trust and County's Monaco Sports Foundation. Mr Richard Garrett, please come forward. Ms. Sharon Morgan of Waipu for services to the community, the arts and rugby. Sharon Morgan has been a trustee for numerous community groups. As a trustee of Whangarei Art Museum Trust, she shepherded the development and governments of the Hunduvasa and the Wairo Māori Arts Centre. She has mentored uh, emerging artists. She supported Kiwi North's completion of two major building projects, she was the first female president of the Northland Rugby Union. She's been an ambassador for Rugby for Life and secretary for the New Zealand Vikings Rugby Club. She drove fundraising efforts to save the Te Oruoru Sports and Recreation Centre at Pakotai from being demolished. Ms Morgan was a Whangarei District Councillor with two terms as Deputy Mayor. Ms Sharon Morgan, please come forward. Ms. Deirdre Shea of Auckland for services to education. Deirdre Shea is the first female principal of Onihunga High School, where she has overseen the establishment of a construction school, services academy, and health science academy alongside significant infrastructure redevelopment. She has implemented a student health service and the Star Path program for student success and added Samoan and Tongan language and Māori performing arts to the curriculum. She is Managing Principal of the Achievement in Multicultural High Schools, AIM High, Alternative Education Consortium, and was President of the Secondary Principals Association of New Zealand. Ms Shea represents principals on a range of working groups and chairs the NCEA Professional Advisory Group for the Minister of Education. Ms Deirdre Shea, please come forward.
Your Excellency, to receive the Queen's Service Medal, Mr. Merv Huxford of Orewa, for services to hockey and the community. Merv Huxford created the first Hibiscus Coast under-13 hockey team. He has played in and coached numerous club and regional hockey teams. He chairs the Hockey Hibiscus Trust and has held administrative roles with North Harbour Hockey Association. He drove the opening of the Hibiscus Coast's first artificial ho hockey turf and initiated a primary school competition. He runs development sessions for students while helping schools with development programs and coaching. He has been a founding trustee, treasurer and fundraiser for Youth in Transition, a suicide prevention service. Mr Huxford is active with Rotary and is a past district governor. Mr Merv Huxford, please come forward. Ms. Margaret McKibben of Napier for services to scouting. Margaret McKibben has been a Cub and Care Scout leader since 1966. As district care leader, she oversaw the establishment of 15 care scout clubs throughout Napier Hastings. She was an area zone care leader for Waiapu area. She was a national trainer at Tatum Park, training around 200 scout leaders. She later became leader of the care club at West Shore Sea Scouts in Napier. She is Guildmaster of Napier's baden Powell Guild, providing fellowship and activities for Scouting's most senior retired leaders. Ms McKibben has fundraised for St John Ambulance Youth and volunteered with the National Aquarium of New Zealand. Ms Margaret McKibben, please come forward. Your Excellency, the investiture has concluded. New Zealand's honours system is our highest public affirmation of outstanding individual achievement. It reinforces those things that make our society better. Service, manakitanga, and the pursuit of excellence. To our recipients, it has been a privilege to hear your stories. You have each used your talents and abilities to improve the lives of other New Zealanders. You have embodied the sentiment expressed by the great Nigerian playwright, Wole Soyinka, when he said, human life has meaning only as long as it is lived in the service of humanity. I urge recipients to wear your insignia with pride at every opportunity, 
knowing that you inspire others by your example. On behalf of the Queen of New Zealand and all New Zealanders, and also some New Wayan citizens, I congratulate you on your achievements and thank you once again for your service to our country. Kia ora, huhi mai tātou katoa. Now you will see that the national anthem in te reo Māori and in English is on the back of your programme. I now invite you to join with me in singing that. Please stand. <laughs> 